Okay, so here we go. So here's my simple and easy, perfect scrambled eggs. What I do is I start off with, I'm using four eggs, and then I'm gonna be using four pats of butter. So we'll go ahead and turn our heat on high, and then go ahead and drop in our butter. What the butter shall do is not overcook the eggs and slow down the cooking. I'm using unsalted butter um, that is cold out of the refrigerator. So we'll let this go for a minute or two. I will edit a lot of this out um, so I'm not wasting too much time on the video. So I don't break my eggs before I put them in. Once you start getting a little color in your pan is when you want to start stirring the butter and your eggs. This is when you can go ahead and break them and start stirring. And just keep stirring. Your butter will start to melt and it'll keep them from overcooking. So here's our consistency right now. Just keep stirring. Make sure you're using a nonstick pan. You don't want to use stainless steel because it will stick. And I'm using a little old silicone scraper and I keep turning and turning and turning. That way it does not stick to the bottom and your eggs will still cook. Now where my scrambled eggs are different and how I make them so light and fluffy is with that cold pat of butter. What I like to do, since my pan's still hot, I'll take it off the heat and I'll still turn. That way I'm not constantly cooking with heat. So I'll do anywhere from 90 seconds on heat to 20 to 30 seconds off heat because the pot's still hot. And I'm constantly stirring these eggs. Because what happens is if you keep it on the heat, it'll just dry out your eggs and they'll cook way too fast. So for my perfect scrambled eggs, I want it to be nice and slow on the cook. So since it just went back on the heat, this is what they look like right now. So I'm on a, about a medium heat and they're starting to firm up a little bit. So I'll take it back off the heat because the pot's still nice and hot. So these eggs are going to cook just not as fast. Now they're really starting to set up right now. I don't add any salt and pepper to it because that will make your eggs a lot runnier. So just constantly keep stirring. Right now they're really fluffy and this is what it looks like after the second time I took it off the heat. So these are almost done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut my heat off. Pot's still hot. I'll just come back here and mix it just a little bit more. Make sure that it, they're not sticking, which if it's a nonstick pan, it won't. And we'll get ready to plate. And then salt and pepper to taste. And that's it, perfectly cooked scrambled eggs.